You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. That Cleveland Browns football player that that got arrested for running naked. <laughs> no. In the in, dog, yeah, man. This dude got he got arrested for running naked um in Miami, man, like butt booty naked. And, and he went, um, he went to What's his name? Um, Malik Dow. You feel me? He he ran into a, a, a elementary school, butt booty naked, grown man, and he beat up a, 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 a police officer, whooped the police officer's ass, you know, oh, got arrested. Oh, huh? Naked? He beat up the naked neck. And you know, it's hard. You imagine somebody trying to fight you and, and he butt booty naked. I'm not trying to touch your ass. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You're going to get a few free blows because I'm over here looking at your other arm like, yo, <laughs> you feel me? Like, don't touch me. So, so yeah, man, that's what happened. He whooped the police officer's ass. Um, and and um, from 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 the update that I, I, I read on or probably seen, um, it said that he thinks somebody put something, um, slipped him something and made him go crazy which is you know like is not it somebody rare, like you know? it's a no name player Malik Dow uh, you know he oh, plays Malik for Dow the Cleveland okay. Browns oh, okay. you know right. what I'm saying that's crazy um, <laughs> yeah I'm not, you know they got they got video all over the um the the um internet you know on the news I know Chris going to go ahead and find that video when he see wow. it but but you know okay. they put him in a stretcher you know they, of course they covered him um and you know you probably had some women that was probably like happy to see the show you feel what i'm saying you know you got an nfl player that you know when you're in the nfl you are fit you know what i'm saying so they probably was looking at his ass another way but i didn't respect it just because he ran into elementary school you could have had kids um you know the bell ringing and they walking through class and you wind up seeing something like that you don't know what the person is thinking probably try to snatch one of them up anybody that that and you black you black, you got dreads, you big as hell, you know, because you're in the football, in the NFL, not just regular football. Um, you, you, So you eat well, you know, you're intimidating. And then not just that, you're crazy enough to fight a police officer, whoop the police officer's ass. Most most black people think that if they, if they look wrong at the police, that they scared to get shot. For you to go ahead and be that brave, to go into a school butt booty naked, whoop the police officer, the sheriff, at the same time, like you, you got, you can't be in your right mind, but I could just imagine what the rest of the um, people around was actually thinking. Like, cause look, if you're somebody in the school, who do you, they tell you to call, call the police. The police is getting their ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? Who am I supposed to call now? <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Wow, like the police got the gun. <laughs> so, wow. um, yeah um hopefully hopefully it is what he said um i'm pretty sure he already got his attorney and his team already got um them blood testing him to see what what was in his system um and hopefully it was something in his actual drink um that somebody you know and slipped him or whatnot you know i mean like everything happened in florida dog like for real everything bad happens in florida so you want to party they're going to go to Florida. Our clubs, they, I've been trying to tell you that y'all hate us because of our beaches, women, and our weather. You know what I'm saying? While it's cold in Tennessee right now, it's nice and warm in Miami. You know, the AC is keeping us cool. But regardless of the fact, I, I, you know, hopefully he can land on his feet if they did give him something um, that had a... a a negative effect on his body and his mind. But if he's lying, you got to lock this guy up. Forget probation, man. You know, ran in school, uh, a school of kids, man. And, yeah. and just because it's elementary school makes it even worse. So school is bad enough, you know, yeah. but, but, but people probably would have looked at it different if it was high school. You got little kids, man. You don't play with the little kids, man. So um, hopefully there's some truth to his story and, he can land on his feet. If not, you got to be the one kicking rocks in jail. Yeah, I mean that's a crazy that's a crazy story. I mean, I'm just picturing a dude getting his ass whooped. You know, like he can't never tell that story to nobody. 
you know, if he if he doesn't, or somebody could always say that, yeah, that, yeah, whatever, man. You beat me in spades. That's why you got whooped by somebody naked. You know what I'm saying? It's like Najee <laughs> Damage Court when he took a shit in somebody's um room. <laughs> and just Andre, like Najee Davenport. <laughs> He's the pl- play for the University of Miami, yeah, played for yeah, Green yeah, Bay Packers. Know. And yeah, then he yeah. wind up taking a shit and, t- and got arrested. Um, he took a shit in somebody's laundry and was hiding in the closet. <laughs> Why was he hiding that, in the closet? I don't know, man. You know, oh, that, but that was a story long, long time ago. You know, oh, I'm like, damn, why it had to be somebody from the U, man? Like, come well, on. Some, somebody from the crib, too. I believe he went to Miami Central. Um, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. But, but anyways...